How do I get VLC to play on the second monitor on Windows? How do I get VLC to play on the second monitor on Windows? On macOS, there is an option in the video menu full screen video device. Windows doesn't seem to have that option. There are various options in the DirectX settings that let you select a monitor, but they don't seem to work simply. It has the option, it's just kind of tucked away a bit. Under Tools in GT, Preferences go to the Video section and choose your display device in the DirectX settings. You can use backslash display 2 in a multi-monitor configuration. Ensure you are using DirectX instead of default as the output, in the display section above. Maybe this solution might help. At our church, we sometimes need to display video content on the second monitor which is our projector screen. We also chose VLC to display the content, and for similar reasons as stated we found it rather distracting on having to drag the player window of VLC onto the second monitor. We also wanted to come up with a really simple solution so that our less computer savvy operators could find it really easy to show video content. Using VLC 1.1.4 under Windows Vista, we came up with the following batch script, which we've put into a file, VLC underscore starter dot bat, which can be placed anywhere, for example on the Windows desktop. Set path equals C column backslash program files backslash video on backslash VLC backslash VLC dot exe. Percent full path percent percent one video x equals sixteen hundred video y equals four hundred width equals three hundred height equals three hundred full screen no video title show no embedded video no QTFS controller. This enables us to simply drag and drop media files onto the VLC underscore starter dot bat file icon, which automatically loads and starts the video on the second monitor. We can then control and stop the video playing from the VLC controller window as normal. If you wanted to use this, you would have to adapt the VLC underscore starter dot bat to match the setup of your second monitor. This is the video x equals and video y equals option in the script. You might also need to change the full path equals setting for your install location of VLC. You can also adapt the script to display DVD content. Replace the percent one to something like div simple colon slash slash g colon backslash at two where g is the drive and two is the DVD title number. Or make the script into a Windows shortcut instead. I won't give details as my posting is already pretty long. I've found a semi-satisfactory way to do it. Make sure you set up the second monitor on the right hand side, then. Open the Preferences dialog, Tools and GT, Preferences. In the Interface tab, choose Native, and untick Embed Video in Interface. This enables the controls to be separated from the video. Choose All in the Show Settings box at the bottom left of the Preferences window. Choose the video options from the left. Tick full screen video output. Scroll down and set an X and Y position that are on the second monitor. So set an X position larger than the width of the first screen. The value of the Y coordinate doesn't matter much, but mustn't be negative otherwise both values will be ignored. Save the settings. Now, when you start a video, it will run full screen on the second monitor. The disadvantages of the above compared to the macOS full screen video device menu are Sometimes you will see the video window for a moment before it goes full screen. It's a pain in the neck to set up and kind of needs to be set permanently. You can't have the non full screen video on the first screen to preview slash queue it up before you start and amp. If you exit full screen mode you get a video window on the second monitor, 
which isn't what you want in a presentation type situation. It only works with the second output on the right. With it on the left, VLC seems to treat a negative window position as use defaults. I haven't tried putting the second monitor above or below, presumably only one of those will work. Drag the VLC window to your second screen. Then go to Tools and GT, Preferences and GT, Video and GT, Display and check full screen. Close VLC, done. VLC will now remember its position and always start videos in full screen mode on the second monitor, until you change the position to the primary display or the secondary display becomes unavailable, that is. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.